The purpose of this video is to explain a new a homemade safety feature I've added to uh, my AP900 mount uh, behind me here. When I'm imaging all night using uh, a computer to control the telescope and choose the targets, uh, control the camera, etc. for many hours, uh, I really would like to go to bed uh, to, to get a good night's sleep and let the telescope carry on uh, collecting the data so I can process it later on. And uh, there's a worry in my mind that if things go wrong, there could be a potential disaster happening. And perhaps I can explain to you what that problem is, what, what that disaster could be very briefly, and then I'll show you the solution that I've uh, rigged up for it. Let me see if I can summarize the problem that I'm trying to solve uh, quite quickly. So I'm facing north now, the mount there is, is facing due north to the pole star, that axis. I've positioned the telescopes in a typical position they would start imaging an object that was rising in the east in the beginning of a, an imaging session. So what needs to happen is I want to get many hours of uh, long exposures for this particular uh, object that I'm interested in. And so we just need, the telescope would uh, be driven round and round and round, more hour, hour after hour, 15 degrees an hour, until eventually we would get to the position where that axis there, so the axis of the uh, counterweights through to the telescope there is parallel to the ground and then the telescopes are pointing to the south and we are at the meridian we are at the point of crossing the meridian and as we go further around we we get danger because as you can see the bits of the telescope will get closer and closer to the mountain so obviously the, a long telescope and big bulky cameras etc will hit the mount if the you know this should not happen in the normal circumstances right the computer should will know that uh, when it's got just a bit beyond the meridian it should do a meridian flip and flip the whole thing around and continue imaging with the telescopes on the other side of the mount but what happens you know if 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 uh, things go wrong things can go wrong i really want to protect the uh, the, the system with a, a fail safe hardware solution so what happens though if it all goes wrong? So what I've done here is uh, I've craftily put my own uh, limit switch. So <laughs> this is this is what I've done. This is a switch, a, a limit switch. Okay, and so when something comes along here and hits that, it knocks the power off to the mount, just the 12 volts. What I've done is I've made a little, uh, in my, my 12 volt, uh, here, here's the, the, the camera power. These are all 12 volts. This is a big 12 volt supply. And this, this one here uh, goes through that limit switch and that's the one that's powering the mount. Okay, I only, I'm only interested in, in knocking the power off the mount if something goes wrong. So what I've done here, and, and with great trepidation, is uh, here's my, <laughs> the, the, the tools I use. I used, I drilled in to the astrophysics mount. Oh, it was not uh, a pleasant experience, but it went very well. And uh, I tapped uh, an M5 hole in here. And what I did was I made this rather beautiful, I'm sure you'll agree, uh, Heath Robinson uh, uh, item from squashing a piece of aluminium tube. And um, I tapped into the mount. Now I, I knew I was safe to tap in to this part of the mount because these big threaded uh, clutch screws, there's four of them, they, they go in as well and I was pretty happy. Now I wouldn't want to drill into this part because there is the motor and there's the worm gear so ra running around here somewhere underneath there is, is a beautiful um, gear wheel and I really do not want to drill into that but I was pretty sure that I could drill into that but I only drilled in, uh, I don't know, enough to tap this so I cut this, this M5 bolt very short and I just had enough to thread, sort of three or four threads. I tapped it, blind tapped into the hole and so you can see what happens. So now, um, now I can demonstrate this. So let me, uh, let me just get the mount going because I keep turning it on and off. Uh, so, so the mount, I'll, I'll actually drive uh, the mount in. So here we go, I'm going to move the telescope around. Now, as you can see, uh, the this is the danger part. I'm coming up to the meridian now. As you can see, the mount's just going past the meridian. So what would happen was, now I'll speed this up by driving it. Okay, so I'm going to drive into the switch and 
click. Brilliant. The, the mount, it's gone off, the power's gone off. So, and of course that would happen with the mount driving at sidereal rate. I've tested it, I've actually let it go and I've let it come and it hits the switch. So I'm not sure about mounting this switch. I've used Velcro, this strong Velcro. I've got Velcro stuck to the back of the switch and on the end, but this gives me the ability to tune, fine tune how far I want this to work. And it doesn't need to be strong. It just, you know, very small amount of, of force. So um, that's my improvement, my, my, my hardware limits, which are if something does go wrong, if the mount goes out of control, uh, the computer doesn't know where it is or the mount forgets where it is, this will just turn the power off the mount. Okay, the software will crash, but that won't matter. And uh, I shall be able to sleep uh, a peaceful sleep whilst uh, the telescope is imaging. Um, so that's the improvement today.